trout number one secret spot 3003 <laughs> look into the sun <laughs> well first spot four throwbacks one keeper and I'm gonna show you where every single one came from there is so many throwback trout it's ridiculous and here's another one I'm just sitting here taking a break, eat a sandwich. Boy, oh boy. I was doing better in the intercoastal. All right, the saga continues. Find legal trout. All right, let's see what we got here. Mr. Flatty on a jig and shrimp. I had a feeling it was a flatty. Not a very big one. He sandbagged the hell out of it. There's Mr. Flatty. Eh, he'll make a biscuit. Jig and shrimp. You know, I think about how hard or how versatile you have to be in Northeast Florida compared to all these other places. And I think we are way better fishermen up here. Inshore at least, I don't know anything about the offshore deal. Well, already this morning, I've done the float rig. I've thrown soft plastics. On jig heads. I've thrown plugs. Uh, I did the float rig, of course. And now I'm on to jig and shrimp. Now I've stayed in basically the same area here. I've been to three spots this morning. But, and I've also just went from a quarter ounce jig head to a three eighths ounce. So, around here, you have to be massively versatile. And there's a lot of these places where these guys, they don't have to be. From what I gather, they do not have to be. Because half of them would not make it here. So, they wouldn't make it here. All right, phone's ringing now. I was just on the phone and uh, caught a little sheep's head about 14 inches. I wasn't about to keep that little thing. A lot of people will though. But here's what I'm doing. Right here, second digit up from the tail, go straight through. Straight through, turn the shrimp around, bury it right here in his walking legs because now the sheep's head the drum the whatever goes through the hook twice goes through the has to go through the hook twice to get the meat because that's what they all want sheep's head will pop that head right off you take it you drop it right back down there because that's what he wants the meat and it remains a little kind of weedless and as it's going along you can see what it sort of looks like he's snapping backwards so that's the standard operating procedure for a jig and shrimp for me. I caught that sheep's head because I just went from a quarter ounce up to a three eighths ounce so I could touch the bottom a little better. And there's rocks right underneath the boat. So I am not casting it out. I'm just dropping it right behind the boat. All right, probably another small one. Man, I have 
been up and down and fished my spring spots, my summer spots. It might make 15. Nope, sorry folks. 14 and three quarter inches. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna keep trying. All right. Keeper number two. I am literally catching a trout on every single drift of the float. And I got, finally, keeper number two. One was this morning. And if he shrinks up, he'll be under 15 inches. It's their word against mine. Here we go again. It's low tide now. Every single drift, I'm catching a trout. But are they keepers? No. I don't know what it is. Give me a crappy day. This is too nice. I catch more when it's blowing, raining, cold than I am now. And it's absolutely a gorgeous day. There is no lack of fish catching. Fish keeping? That's a whole other story. Yeah. Oh boy. That's a real yellow, yellow, yellow mouth. Drug the float, said it yanked it straight down. I'm on jig and shrimp now, and something has been eating the bait, eating the bait, eating the bait. And I've hooked them and lost them twice. And I think it's a big old sheep shed because I got them bowed up right now. Because I always fish rock piles, you know? So, the sheep shed of, they're the one been messing me up. Whatever this is, it's one big ass fish. Might be a drum the way he's acting too. I think it's a might be a sheep's. Oh we just come up. Oh yeah, giant sheep's head. Yep. Fishing these rock piles for trout. This is what happens this time of year. They mess with you and mess with you and mess with you and you finally got to get one. God damn, this is a huge one. I can see him back there. There he is. And he just come off. God, I hate them son of a bitches. Just come off. Uh, that was probably, you know, eight, 10 pounder. That's all. I'll see you in hell, sheep's head. That's three now. Hooked up, lost. And a little tired of them. That's the reason I don't like them. Get that one up, he's this big, comes right off. I've had him blunt the hook, bend the hook, squash the hook. That's the reason I'm a trout fisherman. When that float goes down, bam, you got him. Got him on again. Got him on again. And then look at this, I brought out the big guns too. I put out the big gun. Look at this son of a bitch. Oh yeah. Oh God, please. I gotta actually bring this one in. Oh good, he's staying up. Staying up towards the bank. Okay, where's the net? I might actually get redemption here. Oh yeah, it has to be a shit head. No, might be a red bass. Oh, it is, it's a red. There, <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be a sheep's head. That's the reason why this one's staying hooked. An actual keeper, redfin. Well, I might have some dinner after all if he's small enough. Oh man, he's got some messed up belly. I can see that. Woo! 
He's messed up. Look at that. Oh my god. Wasn't affecting his strength by any means. Look at that. What the hell? What is that? Oh man. Woo! And he's legal. But then again, what is going on there? I'd say that's a bad case of psoriasis. <laughs> oh well. I thought it was that damn sheep's head. Well, I'm putting him out of his damn misery. Another one for the trout stretcher. I got like two shrimp left, so I figured, what the hell? I mean, if he shrinks an eighth of an inch, he'll be too small. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Yeah.